CJ, what's up? Beyond scare straight, Baki di Bruh, look. Baki is lit. Let's get it. TV and is this nigga at his house? Oh my god, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to f your wife, right? Yo, Facts. I didn't know this nigga Yo, that's the thing too. I went I had to watch Baki. I had to watch Baki off top after I watched the last CJ the Champ Jump. I said, oh nah. This is my exact alley. This is what I'm here for. Let's go. Which was in the NTR. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad CJ got one off me for the year. Bro. Fire. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today Dennis. we have a very special video uh -huh. because, uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon? Shit, nigga, actually, not even jail. We're going to maximum security prison. Uh -huh. My boy Baki done got locked up. So, yeah, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison because, goddamn, this place reeks of Black Air Force energy because some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But, ladies and gentlemen. You're not lying. Maricopa? No joke. AZ prisons are no joke. That's just a fact off top. Please sit back and relax as we dive into the Arizona State Prison uh -huh. as we will observe pure ignorance, nigga like that, and the art of throwing hands on this special programming of Beyond Scare Straight. Scrape. Baki, what's up? All right, y'all, so before we get into the prison, we got to understand, uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place? I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous oversized African elephant that was terrorizing the entire savannah. And this guy right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor, so how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black appeared and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare hands. At this point, you could just guess who did this shit. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is at this point. Now he's out Crazy. here killing oversized African elephants and then he ate the nigga. This man dead ass shit. I mean, what else you gonna do? When you hunt something like that, what else you supposed to do? You see what I'm saying? Was he supposed to not eat it? Let's go. Ate a whole ass year's worth of protein. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he come for your ass next. Yeah. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I stated the facts. I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like if I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his we bare out. hands, yeah. what the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Right. Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You gonna look at me like, this nigga dumb. But in the Baki universe, shit, I believe anything. Right. So now we cut to this little kid getting bullied, and they're like, hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find. So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high school. Right, right, right. Like, Grown Jesus ass Christ. They look like they at least pushing 33. Right. So then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank, it, and then they just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, <laughs> Please, please, you're not the strongest guy. So they like, oh, yo, you looking for that big nigga. So uh. then they cut outside to the kids and the kids like, I right, bro. They said after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie said they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world. Bruh, to this you. nigga is 40. He said 33. That nigga 43, bro. Come on, what we doing? Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little badass baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't gonna be laughing soon. Oh, so God. they go to the river and there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little badass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie pull out the knife and Baki uh -huh. like, so you gonna use that small ass knife? I bet, I ain't holding back then. This man is dead serious, ready to it's run the up. ones with a child. And look at little homie, he like, oh my God, this nigga's dead serious. Right. This nigga's dead serious. I ain't going home to mama today. So then Baki asks him, can you swim? And he's like, uh, a little. Then Baki's like, bet. So bro flash steps and smacks the little. Ah, Yaga! Oh my god, he imprinted his hand on his ass. Oh! It made. You just gonna put EDP in there like that, bruh? 
So he's gonna, he's gonna get that bar off. Done. He imprinted his hand on his ass. Oh! It made bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that kid with full force. So Fuck. then Baki befriends the kid, but then Yujiro's personal chauffeur Stridum comes out of nowhere. So then he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are gonna go at it for round two. Hopefully you don't go like round one. <laughs> So Yada, Stratum's like, right, his how you ass, gonna respond? Bruh. And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But uh. Stratum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro. I got to find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike Tyson. And he's taking... Oh, he's Yo, what the... F in the Casper is going on right now. Bro is fighting the ghost of Yo. Mike Tyson and is taking damage. Hey, oh, bro. To fight the ghost of Mike Tyson is goaded, bro. I'm trying to tell you, Baki, bro, is fuego. Let's go. Now, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? This man starts fighting a praying mantis. What in the fuck? He's fighting mantis from Kung Fu Panda. He ain't lying. I, you, you, I, I, I just don't question anything anymore in this show. So now we cut to America and they got this parade going on and we got President <laughs> Bosch. But yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Cause this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. Damn, Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. Yes, definitely you can ass. basically let a damn child take the fucking president. Shit, it won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn Secret Service. So Baki ends up having tea with this nigga. And Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the US of A, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asks, what is Baki's demands? And this man, Baki, says, the US Arizona State Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. He want to run them jailhouse fades. He run to run them jailhouse fades. He want to practice and run them. He got to, you know what I mean? He got to sharpen the blade. Let's go. Is this nigga serious? Right. This man Bush like, wait, wait, wait. You kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga Biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitches? He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Facts. This man Baki is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga. I'm going to prison. Right. So our boy Baki gets get arrested. The buses. He gets locked up. Uh -huh. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty. And he gets incarcerated into the Arizona State Prison. So Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. I heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. And the okay. reason this man is called Unchained is because he can leave the prison whenever the hell he wants to. So basically, Gangster. this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. I mean, look at this big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Uh -huh. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what, the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the yeah, face. Yeah. But <laughs> he ate that shit for breakfast, nigga. Look at him. Relax, young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. So Baki gets sent to a cell, and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell. So as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate, and it's Iron Michael. Oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. Right. So Baki asks Mike, hey, yo, I know you got to be number two, nigga. You Mike Tyson. But this man Mike says, nah. I ain't even in the top 10. All right, hold up. Wait a damn minute. So, uh, uh, this Baki, nigga he, Mike Tyson ain't even in the top 10. Yo, what type of monster? Fucking fiends. You got locked up in this bitch. Uh -huh. Nigga, what the fuck is this? Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? Fucking right. Clayface? Right. Killer Croc? Nigga Bane down there or uh -huh. some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. So then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga gotta be like 7'7". Seven, seven. And Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, hey, yo, second, wake the fuck up. So Check this nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. And he's like, hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, did 
this nigga just come out the locker? No, no, no. Did he sleep in the locker? Oh, nah. This man different. Right, right, Rocky right. Ask him, hey, yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? And this man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard yo. about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. I'm a warrior, too. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Come on, let's go. Fucking way this shit is actually happening right now. This nigga's a This nigga CJ is an idiot. Oh, nigga, you best not drop the soap. So while they're lining him up and explaining the rules of the prison, this man Gavar is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole sick while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, hey, yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police officer. Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Because Gavar would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and just took the bidding from the CO. Oh my gosh, bro. That is so fun. Right, right. So yeah, Gavar, aka the second coming of the Booty Warrior, is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big oh. man tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how disrespectful this is. He grabs the officer's gun. Puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he got oh. in his balls. Oh, my God. And, and that nigga's decommissioned. So after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after school exercise with this nigga. So they have a oh. sumo match and, bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear, and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude fell over and it was wraps. So after Gavar leaves, the officer comes over to Big Boy and he's like, hey, yo, uh, why are you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops dude in the back of the head. God. Damn it, he says, yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. No so Guevara warning. comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. This nigga Boss, does yeah. the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate from Shit Talking University? Boy, got the Shit Talk, Shit Talk, no me. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in this very uncomfortable position. Jesus Christ. I can feel his dislocated shoulder from here. So we right. get a little bit of Guevara's backstory. And apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cabinet. Goddamn Secret Service, you've done it again. So dude plays his video on the TV and is this nigga at his house? God, that's a nigga's wife and yeah, kids. Yo, nah, this man is disrespectful as shit. Up. Look at his face up. right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Uh -huh. Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history. Yeah. As well. you, know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That sh is forbidden. But yeah, this man beat the fuck out of his entire security force and took a whole tour of his house uh-uh bro that, that that that's one of the most disrespectful moments i've ever seen so later on the warden is talking about taking out mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison so he gets these triplet looking niggas called the mouth <laughs> one's named the lip the tooth and the Yo. tongue what in the hell is this? These Oompa Loompa ass niggas in right. unison and shit? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. So they bring Mike outside and they start jumping this the nigga bang. in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely. Get so up, then they up, put up, Mike up, in a quarter and Je Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn. 
Then they stopped him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This Mike be smoking that good, good old, you know what I mean? He be on that good cocaine though. So he probably gonna, you know what I mean? He gonna take that. Let's go. Might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. Uh -huh. And that man is gone, bro. Like but back. right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Gavar comes out of nowhere, rolling out like Samus in Morph Ball for uh -huh. So three Oompa Loompas surround his ass, but then he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. Pause! Yo, this nigga really just whipped out Wild. his shit and took a piss on him. Motherfucker like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. Packed him out. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. Damn! Definitely gave him hands. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Sent his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants and got the step in it. I told you. I always say this every time. Look, when you if you punch the if you if you punch the first nigga hard enough, the rest of them gonna chill. You see what I'm saying? You got to. It's an obligation. Let's go. <laughs> Then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, gee, I'm done. So later on, Facts. back at the cell while they're chatting it up, this big nigga biscuit busts up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Gavar, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his shit and then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man spits on that shit. <laughs> yeah, this man is so damn disrespectful. So before the fight, we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Well, just some shadows of her. And we don't get to see much, but she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him she threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga yo, don't get me wrong y'all yo this man biscuit is a savage but yo this man is down bad horrendous now it's a day of the fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this the number one and number two are about to throw down so then biscuits coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like hey yo no way this could actually be her we actually get to see what she looked like even the one is like nah. hey yo no way he actually brought her out so nah. we all thinking all right y'all she gotta be fine as hell she gotta be the baddest be... chick we probably Watch. ever seen well uh y'all niggas should have known bro facts wait Look, ain't, ain't, ain't no Walmart goddamn, shit. my mind must be deceiving me right now. Ain't no way this, my 600 pound like rotisserie ass chicken. Oh my God, nigga, the bitch is the bed. This gotta she be the is biggest, the bad. what the actual f moment I, I've ever seen in an anime. Hey, but we could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp, but hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? <laughs> Not you me. ain't lying. I mean, look you at dude. Lying. He busted out of his tuxedo and is still standing there behind that mound of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop Mashed myself. Potatoes. So how this fight is going to work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth. And the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This Loki is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for it. So Kavar oh, socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky and his um, this might be the craziest grip like strength I've ever seen. So like Gavar go. continues to tee off on Biscuit, but then he grabs his head and slaps that nigga into the ground. So while Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's Thanks. girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my God. Man, use the bed on top of the bed. So they just lose Thanks. the handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far, he cracks into yeah. the wall. Yeah. Everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Damn! Planted that nigga like a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And everybody's laughing. So he's like, wait a minute, something's wrong. And all that shit that just played out was a dream. Cause that nigga got knocked the out.
Nigga, shit is as straight as a Yo. board. And everybody's like, damn. He really just violated that nigga. So he picks up his mattress and takes off. So I was <laughs> away from the prison yo. for a bit. The president is driving, hey, but yo. yo, you're like, wait a minute. Why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, is in the back in seat. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, this nigga dead ass made the president his butler so after the fight the second coming of the booty warrior just left so yeah this man gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch so now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call and while the ceo is talking this man baki says uh excuse me uh can i go take a step outside and everybody like i know this nigga is not talking right now but baki said fuck it so i got that nigga and do the station a whole prison break man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing so baki gets outside but he's surrounded it. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the f you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding them, holding them up at gunpoint? Yeah, he took their buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So he tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> <laughs> that is embarrassing. He lie, had niggas. six niggas holding him up at gunpoint and made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and dude is actually offended by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary confinement. So while he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him. Then he whips out his shit and pisses on him. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, what is up with niggas pissing on niggas? Pause! That might be one of the most disrespectful things I have yeah. ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts laughing at his ass. He like, damn nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up? Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes back to Wasel. He's like, all right, we gonna scene, fight in two bro. weeks. So Baki's like, nah. Place. Fuck that, we fighting right here, right now. He kicks dude in his face. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the fuck out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the tuxedo and he's like, all right, little boy, I'm about to beat your ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a towel and speared him through like five other cells. The dog is just beating the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and just eating all that, bro. And just throw him like a rag doll across the floor. But then you see Baki spring up and Baki. there it is. That there damn is. demon back. Uh -huh. And that's when Biscuit knew that plot armor about to kick it real nice. So he ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch, but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. Right. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose and bro is having the nose bleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch over and over and over again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga drops. Damn, he really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Bro, fee fa fo ass. So Biscuit picks the up mattress his mattress wall. and leaves the battlefield. Right. And our boy Baki is a free man. Right. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained. And now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something be to do with... Forgot the pickles! Oh. Oh, it's gonna get lit. Yeah, 
that was Bucky Beyond Scared Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? Right. Nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. But anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, I got a little big announcement real quick. So, uh, your boy made a second channel. Believe it or not, I'm actually dropping the first vid tomorrow at the same time. So, yeah, I'm going to put the link in the description if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, you can see my black ass two days straight. But anyways, though, God bless y'all. And I'm out this hole. Drop a like, monthly profit is lit. Goodbye.